Hi, I'm Wade Masters from Paws and Claws Adoptions. I'm the President. My name's Karen Moore. Um, I am a foster carer, a fundraising coordinator and assist with support work as well. My name's Karen George and I've been with Paws and Claws for some time. My role is a member of the management committee. So I'm Kylie. I work with a small local organisation called Paws and Claws and we rescue, rehabilitate and rehome cats and dogs and kittens and puppies. Yeah, so Paws and Claws Adoptions takes in animals that are surrendered or rescued. We make sure that all of the medical needs are met um, and before we can adopt an animal out, they need to be dissexed, microchipped and vaccinated. So regardless of where the kittens or the puppies have come from, everything that we do is geared towards animals joining a family home. I think there's a lot of rescues out there with the same philosophy and that's that you just need to be patient. There's a home for every animal. What Paws and Claws aim to do is that any potential adopter fills in a questionnaire and we try to make sure that that questionnaire matches the best to the animal and then we try and find one that will suit their needs. It's also why we do have a lifetime return guarantee on our animals. So if your circumstances change, if an animal is adopted from us, we'll take it back so that we know they're not going to be dumped on the street. The fostering process is actually not as hard as people think. We provide the food, we provide the, all the vet work and treatments that are required. So you've just got to be able to give them time and affection. Just bring them in, include them as part of your life, handle them every day, and the next thing you know, they're affectionate, they're loving, and they're ready for a home. you just got to be prepared to give it time and give it a go. If you were interested in becoming a volunteer, there's quite a few different roles that you could uh, step into. We always need transport for animals, we need foster carers. We need fundraising because if we take in more animals, we need the money to get them uh, microchip vaccinated, de sex before they can be adopted out. We've got some people at the Meow Me Cafe who can't have animals of their own, but they can go spend time with the animals at the cafe, you know, get the benefits of pet ownership without you know, having to worry about it. It's been a really, really beneficial uh, partnership between the cafe and us. So far we've adopted out uh, over 400 cats and kittens here. You don't get necessarily the greatest feel from just looking at a photo, I mean you get a read, but really when you get to come and visit them, pat them, hold them, you can get to know what the cat is like. Finding that right connection um, and, and, and cat for your family members is, is what the benefits of here are. With Paws and Claws you would need to certainly have a love of animals and see that every animal is important and we want to give every animal the best shot that we can. You know you can do as little as you want to or as much as you want to and the more people we have the better it is. I guess you just write in and say what skills you have and we can kind of say you know yeah we need this, we need that but yeah always desperate for volunteers and foster carers. Yeah. I think one of the things that always impresses me is the lengths that our volunteers go to for their animals. It's like we cover all vet work, food, litter and all those costs, but then you've got the volunteers who are buying extra wet food for treats, they're buying collars, they're buying jackets. I think what makes us a great rescue is that our carers are invested in their fosters. I think the work we do is important for animals, but it's also just as important for people. One of the things that me the Paws and Claws community is so special is people's generosity, their generosity with their time, and their generosity with their ideas. I've got a sense of humour, that helps. <laughs> you need that. There are so many dogs and cats that have come into care, either sick, malnourished, unwanted, and then you see these happy home updates on Facebook where people are telling you how much they enjoy the animal that's become part of their family. I think that's what makes it all worthwhile.